up, beautiful people? It is me, Marky Mark. I'm back in the kitchen. Imagine that. Welcome back. Hope everyone is doing absolutely wonderful, wonderfully. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Thank you for joining me. All y'all that have been sticking around, thank you so much. Be sure, don't forget to like my videos and hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Anyway, tonight I'm doing a super short video because there's really not too much involved here, but I figured it's another secret that the world should know. It is what you do with leftover blue crab. You see these beautiful things? So, these literally came from the Outer Banks when we were down there, the family, on vacation about, oh, it's been a month and a half, almost two months ago. Anyway, a lot of people think when you buy a bushel of crabs, you gotta eat them all, and if you don't eat them all, well, I gotta throw them away, money down the drain, down the, in the trash can. Not a fact, my friends. What you do, you cook the whole bushel of crabs, but the leftovers that you can't eat, you bag them up. You stick them in gallons of black bags, and you throw them in the freezer. These things frozen, when you thaw them, and then all I do, you don't have to steam them again. If you steam them again, they'll get too mushy. So what you do is you take them out of the freezer. I like to do 10 or 12 a bag because that's like a perfect serving for a couple people for an evening of crab picking. And anyway, you take them out of the freezer, you unthaw them, you throw them in the oven at 350 degrees for about 20 minutes, and they come out nice, hot, and beautiful again. Now, I'm not going to say the meat is exactly like it was with fresh, freshly cooked still alive, throw them in for a boil, blue crab, but it is so close, it's, you might not even know. So anyway, I just figured this out myself just by doing it, but I feel like this is something that a lot of people don't know, and I feel like there's a lot of blue crabs being wasted, which is just a travesty, and we can't have that going on. So anyway, folks, like I said, I got two trays of crabs here, got the oven preheated to 350, I'm going to slide these suckers in here. I'm going to bring you along for the ride. About 20, 25 minutes and they're going to be oh so good. I got a little pot of butter I'm going to melt. And once they're ready for picking, I will come back at y'all and uh, show you exactly how beautiful the meat stays after two months in the freezer. So anyway guys, I hope, I hope everyone has been safe and healthy and is doing absolutely wonderful. And uh, like I said, thank you all for tuning in and I will see you in just a moment when these suckers come out of the oven. Stick with me. Alright y'all, so here we are. Blue crabs are out of the oven. Like I said, this is just a quick video to show you guys the trick on preserving your blue crabs so you don't ever throw them away, because that is just wrong. So anyway, set this camera down, come in here, and once again, I want to thank you all for tuning in to this episode. It was, like I said, it was a fast one, but fast and effective is the way to go. Take your blue crabs, freeze them, throw them in the oven at 350. Look at that, still comes out beautiful not overcooked. Make sure you don't overcook them. I'd check them after 20 minutes as long as you can hear them sizzling. You're good to go. Anyway, y'all, I hope everyone's staying safe, staying healthy, enjoying life, and uh, until the next, next episode, this is Marky Mark signing off, and peace and out. I will catch y'all on the flip side. Later.